Let's take a look at how we can add links to the text fields of terms and other assets in Business Glossary. It's simply a matter of typing in the link, the web address, the URL in its full form into the field of choice. You can also use email addresses. Business Glossary Web UI will parse that link into a clickable element that will open up a web page in the former case or an email client in the latter case. We can take that one step further by replacing the raw text with a more compact custom text, uh, a single word in a sentence for example. We use brackets to surround the link and the link text which are then separated by a pipe character as you can see here. This makes for more pleasant viewing, more compact viewing, and when we roll over the links we can see that those are of course the same links that we saw before. There are many ways to go beyond this basic use of the of the feature beyond turning single words or phrases inside of text fields into links or email links we can standardize the presentation of links to resources or references either inside or outside the enterprise we can make a custom attribute that will be available in any term that users will know that for any term there's this resource available, there's this reference basket available. For example, I might standardize across my terms that users have access to the Wikipedia article that corresponds to the concept, if there is one. Uh, as before, we're using the brackets notation to hide that raw link and present human readable text instead. This destination could be anywhere, of course, government agency, standards organization, an industry group, and certainly somewhere inside the enterprise. So the benefit is clear. I can do that tangent to look up and get back to work. In this case, we've gone generic and haven't biased the attribute towards any particular reference location, so we can feel free to paste in a bunch of different links. That second one is another web resource, the definition for this term at a different website. And that third link and that fourth link are actually more creative in that they're using the term name as search criteria. We see that that third link is an intranet search inside the company and that fourth link is a web search. You'll need to discover the query pattern inside of the link uh, and then use that as kind of a template but not so difficult to do. And the benefit is clear here as well. We've created living links using this term as the as the criteria. For example on the internet the results I get might be affected by current events which is something I could never capture with a hard-coded link like to that Wikipedia article. The generic container that we made has pros and cons. Uh, another approach is to make uh, specialized custom attributes that correspond to different resources that you might want to make available to your end users. I've actually also added for illustration the subject matter expert custom attribute to illustrate putting a, a user, a person, a team member as the value for uh, one of these attributes as well. Uh, whereas before we had everything together in one custom attribute, here we have always for all terms a web search, always for all terms the definition here at Investopedia, just another way of structuring your data. One last thing for the more advanced user. If we think there's value in presenting these so-called living links, these search links that we've learned about 
and we want to standardize them across all terms and make sure all terms have this link, we can use uh, a, BS, uh, a BGCSV import file uh, in our spreadsheet program along with the concatenate formula to combine the term name uh, and a prefix and suffix to create this uh, valid value for that uh, for that property for that attribute. Inside, we see that the uh, web address, including the query string, is followed by the term name, which in turn is followed by the uh, uh, human readable text and the close bracket. Once we've done that a single time, we can use copy and paste or the drag handle to get that very same information uh, into all the terms for that property.